Hi, everybody. Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. We are super excited. I'm here with Amy O'Connor. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. We are at Lowe's Home Improvement. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> where, tell us, tell everybody where, where we are. Uh, we're at the Jeff Shore Leadership Summit. It's our annual summit, and it's being held at the beautiful Lowe's uh, in Coronado Island outside of San Diego. I thought it was Lowe's Home Improvement, but it wasn't, was it? No. Wouldn't that be great, though, right? It kind of matches our theme. Hey. Maybe well, we hey. should try that. Sales improvement. Maybe we should do uh, Lowe's sales improvement seminar. This has been an awesome event. We're just kicking it off. Amy's got a um, a keynote tomorrow. What are you speaking on? Uh, I'll be speaking on how do we create better experiences for our customers, right? Experiences are really what's going to make us stand out in a crowd. And then also for the sales managers out there, I'm going to be talking about how do you create a self-managing sales team, right? Doesn't that sound great? Well, okay, from a sales manager, I would think if they're self-managing, they don't need me anymore. Oh, okay, good point. Uh, they, they totally need you. And actually, th- what this frees you up to do is do the things that really you're hired to do, much more on that operational level. How do we make sales work operationally? What are the bigger decisions that have to be made? If my sales team can handle the small everyday items, then that frees me up to be more strategic. So what's the big mistake that you, I know you work with a lot of companies that you see sales managers making today? Uh, Well, as it relates to the self-managing sales teams, uh, they feel the need to solve everything and to do everything themselves. And we call it the tyranny of tiny tasks. Right, they find themselves doing and repeating these small, tiny tasks again and again and again and again. And so what happens is that the organization kind of gets held back at that point because they're not making the bigger advancements because these tiny little tasks are, are really just bogging down their schedules. Now, I know, I mean, people paid a lot of money to come to this event. You can't give away all the secret sauce here. But give me one or two tips for somebody that's watching that wants to empower their team and make them self-managers. What could they do right now today in 2017 oh you are asking me to uh to peek behind the curtain here a little bit aren't you yeah you want some of my tips uh you know i think if you're going to create a self-managing sales team the first thing you need to have is a clear vision of what that means for you i think every organization that's going to mean something a little bit different so i think this from a sales leadership perspective you have to get that vision clear for yourself and because if you don't you're going to be self-sabotaging before you ever begin you know beyond that you need to hire for self-managers not all salespeople are equipped to be self-managing so you want to hire for organizational skills entrepreneurial skills emotional intelligent problem solving right so you have to build your team with the right people if you want to make this happen and then i would say that another tip is uh just to make sure that if you're going to say I'm going to let you make management decisions, then you actually have to follow through with that, right? You have to, no matter what's happening in the organization, if I tell you that you have authority to do these things, then I have to back you up on that. That's great stuff. Going back to the experience, why is that important? And uh, one or two tips for our, our audience as far as Uh, how to increase and make it a better positive experience. Oh, wow. You do want to take all my stuff from the stage for tomorrow, don't you? Okay. uh, uh, Experience. You know, it's interesting. Builders steal from each other all the time, right? Well, one has a great plan, the other just sort of copies it, right? Or they have a great pricing strategy or a great, uh, you know, amenities package. See, all of that is easily duplicated by the competition. But what is not as easily duplicated is the experience that we create for the people who come through our doors. And when we're looking at this uh, market right now in home building, I, the market is strong and everybody's benefiting from that. But the strength actually creates more competition. We're seeing more builders coming into more markets. We're seeing new builders start up because of this great market. So what that means is that experiences are no longer a nice to have, they're a must have. If you're going to break away from the competition, if you're going to get more than your fair share, and I think everybody wants their fair share and a little bit of somebody else's, the way to do that is through creating better experiences. What is your why? Because you're making an impact. People love listening to you and you're doing some great podcasts. But what gets you motivated? You're you're good at motivating people, but what gets you motivated? My why is my nine-year-old daughter, Claire, my seven-year-old son, Kieran, and uh, my wonderful husband, Rich, who makes all this possible for me. Love it. Now, something interesting um, about Amy is uh, she sells a lot of new homes and helps people and empowers people to sell a lot of new homes. But you live in like a uh, like a house that like what did Benjamin Franklin used to live there or something? How old is your house? Uh, it was built in 1812, 
Uh, it's a historic property, uh, so it's just over 200 years old. We live in Northern Virginia and we have a 12 acre farm. That's amazing, <laughs> wow, is it haunted? Oh, that's a great question. And there actually is a documented um, Confederate soldier death in the home. If you look at the history, yes. Uh, but as far as ghost activity, I have not seen any. But if they want to come and cook and clean, I'm happy to have them. I'm excited to see you t uh, tomorrow. I think we've got uh, Jeff and, and Ryan today. Yes. Great event. Really good turnout. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of videos from this event. Thanks again. Thank you. Any shout outs? I know you've got some podcasts and things that you're doing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, take a look on our uh, jeffshore.com website and you're going to see a variety of events that you can come to and buy tickets. I have a sales lead, um, I'm sorry, I have a 42 Formula Academy coming up in Charlotte in September and there's a few seats left. So if you want to grab a couple of those, I'd love to see some of your audience there. I follow your blog and your, your videos that you do, your motivational stuff. You're making an impact. Yeah, I love what you're doing. Thank you so much. With newhomesales.com with Amy O'Connor here at the Jeff Shore Sales Leadership Summit.